I'm here at the Walmart parking lot in Sacramento. Uh, it's an absolutely stunning place. I love hanging out here. Um, it's always a lot of good people watching. But before I get into my monthly costs, I will tell you the things that I don't pay for. The first thing that I don't pay for is a monthly car bill. I bought this silver stallion here for $7,000 cash. Having a car payments is something that I don't want. And uh, what I do instead is every month I direct deposit $200 into a separate account. The hope is just to build that bad boy up and eventually one day be able to upgrade my vehicle. I also don't pay for health insurance. I'm lucky enough where that's covered through my work. Obviously don't pay for rent. As I've mentioned, my rent in Sacramento was just getting stupid. It was about a thousand dollars a month. So that's a thousand dollars that I'm putting directly towards a new house. What do I pay for? The first thing that I do pay for is my cell phone. I have this super cool flip phone. It costs me $60 a month. It's a little bit more on the pricey side, but it's Verizon wireless and it by far in my area at least has the best service. I also pay for car insurance. I just wanna make sure if this baby's injured, it's covered and that costs me $89 a month. So food is definitely one of my biggest costs. I've averaged it out where I will spend $30 a day so that turns into $900 a month. I love food. I'm still a growing boy. I'm 29 years old hitting a growth spurt, so I need to feed myself. If I'm gonna spend money on anything, it should be investing in myself. And I consider this thing right here to be a temple. And what do you do with temples? You treat them nicely. I spend roughly $45 a month at coffee shops. A green tea will cost me three bucks. I average going there about 15 times a month. The coffee shop's important to me because it's my only means of accessing internet. I don't have internet availability on my little flip phone. I give myself about $50 a month for beer. I'm not huge into the bar scene. You, you won't find me twerking at a local club on a Saturday night, but instead I'm a big fan of breweries and Northern California is loaded with them. So I'll try to grab a beer or two once a week. My fitness cost is broken down into two different things. The first is obviously the gym. I use California Family Fitness. It has quite a few gyms around here. That's $53. It's worth it to me because it provides me with a shower. It also provides me with a toilet that hasn't been destroyed by Walmart patrons. I pay for a stretching website called Ramwad that runs me $14 a month. So the grand total for fitness is $67 a month. I'm loving my truck so far. It is a 2002 Tundra. It is definitely not the most eco-friendly vehicle on the road. I think it only averages like 16 miles per gallon. So the cost of fuel for me averages about $185 a month. It doesn't help that I live in California and the gas prices here are just insane. My next expense is charcoal and propane. I do most of my cooking at work. I'll just keep it in a cooler here in my pickup truck. But there are times when I need to cook and generally I will do that either with my nifty little jet boil, which requires propane, or I will do it at a park or at any barbecue pit with charcoal. And that averages out to about $22 per month. When I'm not doing my urban camping, I will venture off into the woods. Campsite out here averages roughly 20 bucks, so I'll do that maybe four times a month, so that comes out to $80. I also have a national park pass that averaged to $7 a month, so the total cost for camping for me per month is $87. There is also access to BLM land around here and that is free camping. So sometimes I utilize that as well. One perk of living in my truck so far is I haven't spent a cent on toilet paper, but toiletries and just general hygiene products, uh, toothpaste, deodorant, um, I'm a big time sweater. 
so deodorant is a must but the average cost for toiletries for me comes out to about twenty dollars per month i've already purchased my flights for my three trips that i'm doing this year which i did scotland last month i'm going to germany in september and then i'm going to chile in october but per month the breakdown was $141 for my travel. After adding everything up, the grand total for my cost of living is $1,666. It might seem a little bit pricey, but I'm eating great food, I'm traveling to three different countries, and just to put in perspective, I'm about an hour from San Francisco, and I knew the prices there were crazy, but I looked it up, and the average for a one bedroom apartment there is $3,200 per month. So I'm spending, you know, roughly half of that to be able to live. And uh, my bank account so far is absolutely loving it. If you were curious about what my cost of living was, there it is. Thanks for watching.